Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an on page search using jQuery. Now, don't be afraid of the code, don't be afraid of the word jQuery. I'm going to break it down as simple as I can for you. So, this trick you can use it for a lot of things like um, a job board or e-commerce site where you're just typing into an input field on that same page and you don't have to go to a search result page. Everything filters themselves in or out of the page immediately. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Now, this is where we're going to start. We're going to start with the code. Now, whoa, 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 hold on. If you're not used to code and you want to click out, please give it a chance. Uh, don't stop the video. You got this. I promise I'll break it down as easily as possible. So this is what we're going to do. All right. Here's the example page and I'm going to link this in the YouTube description. And so this is what this does. If I search for something like, let me search for like Google, it happens instantly. If I search for Yahoo, there you go, or the word link, there you go. So we're going to add this to our Webflow project and we're going to do it with a Webflow collection. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is copy this code. Again, don't be afraid. You got this and go to my page panel and add this to my end body tag. And at the top of the code, I'm going to add in script to tell the browser, hey, I'm writing JavaScript and also closing it at the end. All right. Now we'll get back to this uh, code later. So we can go ahead and save it. And I've already created a collection using the team members template. You can do so as well by clicking new and then team members and then adding dummy data. But that's what I did before uh, this recording. And then I've gone ahead and created a collection list, uh, added a collection list within a container and set the collection list to grid and set it to three columns. And I gave this uh, each collection item a class name of team member. And I put in the photo and also I put in the name of the of the person okay and i give it a class name this text block the class name of name so with the javascript we're going to be targeting the names so as we're typing if it finds a similar name it will either reveal or hide the team member element from this grid okay so next thing, now that we have our data on here, next thing we got to do is add a, a search field. So instead of using form, I'm just going to create code. Now, again, I'll have this code available for you in the description below. I'm going to type in input. That's the name for uh, an HTML text field type equals text. And we'll give this a name. Actually, we'll give this a class name of page search. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. There we go. I need to put an ending slash. And there we go. So that's all we need to do. Okay. Save and close. And it'll show up like this. All right. Cool. Let me push this away a bit. There we go. Awesome. So this is where we type in our search. Okay. Now we can go back to our code. Now here we go. I'm going to break it down. So we copied and pasted this code from the page from the JS fiddle page. And this is the dollar sign means, Hey, this is jQuery. And now we're going to put in the name, the class name of the element. So we named it page dash search. Okay. So you can name your input field, anything you want. I named mine page dash search, and this is what I'll leave it as. Now we're saying whenever 
a key up. So when you're pressing down on a key on your keyboard, that's key down. But when you let go of the key, that means key up. So the key of the keyboard is going up. That's what it means. So on or when a key goes up on the keyboard, do something. Okay, so that's what line two means. While inside of the input field, when someone's pressing, uh, letting go of a keyboard key, do something, right? Now, what that something is, is let's create a temporary memory inside of the browser. And what goes into this, and we're going to call this memory V. And what goes into this memory is the value of this. Okay, so whatever is inside of this is saved in here, all right? Now, when that happens, we anything that has a class name of results, remove it. Anything that has a class name of no results, remove that as well, and then move on. And so while we're moving on, we can, uh, right here, we're going to look for these cards. And so I didn't name these cards demo link, so I'm going to delete this, but I'm going to call this dot team member. And that's the class name I gave each card. Okay. As you can see, if I hover, it's right here. Okay. Oops. Cancel. So we named it team member. So this part right here, it's just saying if the value of page search is not equal to nothing and there's something in one of these cards that match what's inside of here, then we're going to add a new class to that team member of results. Else, meaning if it's not, if there's nothing, then we're going to add a class to these cards with no results, right? So right now you might be wondering like, wait, I didn't even make a class called results or no results. Well, that's where we start to add in custom CSS. Okay, so I'm going to add in style and end the, my, end the style and I'm going to create classes on my own. So we have results, so dot results, that's what makes a class name, a dot, curly brace, and we're gonna put, put display block, okay? Block means the same thing as this, okay? And if it's no results, meaning it's not part of the search, we can just say display none. Ugh. And that's the same thing as clicking this eyeball right here. Okay. And so now if everything's right, I can click save, publish, and try it out. Let's try Holly. There we go. Let's try Lisa. He doesn't look like Lisa, but okay. <laughs> Let's try Chris. Yep, there we go. Let's try the le just the letter D. There we go. All of these have a letter D. Let's put E, R, and there we go. And I click out. And there we go. Live on page search. A little bit uh, intermediate, but hopefully I've broken it down for you as best as I can. Let's recap though, okay? So when a keyboard key is going up, save that new value into the letter V, which is a temporary memory on the browser. And then if anything has the class name of results, remove it. If anything has a class name of no results, remove it. And then move on to each team member, which is the collection item. And if something is found, then add a class of results onto team member. If it's not found, add a class of no results to, to each team member that's not found. And those class names are just doing display block, which is this, and display none, which is this eye, uh, hidden eyeball. Okay? If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below and I'll address them as fast as I can.
Hope this helps. Cool, so uh, let me know if you use this trick on any of your existing or new projects. Leave a link in the comments below. I'd really like to check it out. If you have a suggestion for a future topic, uh, it could be about web design, web flow, the no code revolution, or another tutorial. Just let me know what you wanna see and I'll put that on my future topics list. So that's about it. Thank you so much for your support. If you wanna support me even more, Go ahead and click on the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm very active there. Follow me at ThePixelGeek, and that's about it. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next one, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.